Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming and welcome back to Grand Strategy Sunday and Crusader Kings 2 in real life where last time on this show we had a run in with the medieval Arabic version of Thelma and Louise which caused us our man uh, Burhanadin, Burhanadin, still got to get used to that name, Burhanadin, great embarrassment and we have decided that from that action, from those discrepancies and sinful behaviour that our Grand Vizier Sheikh Alim of Mecca here, his daughter is the one who caused us that great embarrassment. He is no longer able to dictate who we marry. That is a decision that we are taking out of the council's hands. That is something that they can no longer dictate to us too because we are a proud zealot and to find out that both of the two of our wives were gay and that they ran off with each other in a very public display they took themselves off of the census rather than be with me that has brought us great shame great embarrassment and that is something we cannot allow to happen to the great Abd al Kays family again that is something that we are not going to put up with. So that's a decision that has now been taken out of the council's hands. So with regards to wives, do we want to go out and get married again? Maybe. Who knows? I mean, we do have a 29-year-old here. She might be able to produce an heir, but she is uncouth. Um, we're okay with her on opinion, but we're not great. And our other wife here is 51. She is not having children. And uh, we like her a lot more. But she's not having children now. That's that's not happening. So we don't have an heir right now. Which I think that this kind of man would want maybe. Although he is shy. So maybe we don't want to go out and find a new wife. That's something we need to decide on as we go forward. The other thing that we need to do. We are in a war with our new ally over here. And uh, it's a war very far away. It's a war very, very far away. So we're getting our troops up. We're getting our troops together right now. We're going to send over our measly little amount of troops uh, and hope that maybe he can do something with that. But uh, other than that, don't really know what to do with the whole wife situation. That might be something I tackle as and when. Um, we're going to go out into the world maybe and see if there's anyone that we particularly like. If I'll do that sporadically in the background and if i do find anyone that i think this might be a legitimate chance that we might marry this person then i will let you know but i won't bore you too much with that about going off and trying to find a wife that's something that we might look into it's something that might happen might not so the other thing that i've noticed we are three years away from the year 1000 right now 1000 AD that is uh, that is amazing we are three years away from that uh, we have been going for well over uh, oh no 228 years we've been going for now so yes it's been a it's been a long run so far we've managed to cling on we've managed to survive we've managed to thrive in instances but we've been pushed back a little bit now but um yeah, if there isn't a legitimate end site in place, because I don't think that this is the kind of guy that wants to fight for A, independence, or B, become a king. So maybe we might look and see if we've been playing for 300 years. I, I, I think a thousand, the year 1000 is probably a bit of a too short a place to stop now because it's only three years away. That can fly by in an instance uh, when you're on five speed. So, but maybe, maybe 300 years might be a place where we might want to stop, maybe. I want to end this series on a nice thematic note, you know. I want it to have some meaning. I don't want to just end at an arbitrary point. So my thought was, I honestly thought we were probably going to get wiped out, either by the Mongols, the Aztecs, or by the Black Death. But no, none of those three things seem to be on the cards the Aztecs are falling apart as you can see now they've lost 
Um, most of the British Isles have lost England and Ireland. They also had a big kingdom here in uh, North Africa and Iberia. They've lost that. They're starting to fall apart in Anatolia as well. I think it's because he lost all these events spawned. So he doesn't. He only has like under 10,000 troops now. I, I can almost take him. The Mongols did start to pull themselves together a little bit. Uh, but again, he's lost all his events spawned as well. So he's not as powerful as he could have been and the black death as you well know was a bit of an anticlimax it washed over us and moved on its way so i don't honestly know where the ending is for this series right now then i started thinking maybe independence maybe kingdom but we haven't had any rulers that have pushed us towards that and i don't want to force it because that's against the whole spirit of the role play of this run so yeah, keeping my eyes out on a good ending place for this right now, but um, yeah, let me know if you can think of anything that might be a good ending for this series. Okay, so my troops have finally made it to the other side of Africa, and they're just about to cross the Straits of Gibraltar uh, into our allies' lands. Now, I need, I want to try and pick my way to him without getting smashed if possible so let's see if I can make it to here first without running into anyone we've lost massive amounts to attrition by the way just crossing the entirety of the continent we've lost so many troops um, so that hasn't helped. So we're in a, in a much weaker state than we were originally anyway, but never mind. The council agreed that Sheikh Hafiz of Hebron had been acting in a very impious, impious way. Okay. Ignoring many wisdoms of the Quran, being a pious man, you decided to help him not repeat the same mistakes. Hafiz was very grateful for this help and told you that he was in your debt. Uh, okay. So you owe me a favor. Uh, who are you and what can you do for me? Where are you? Ah, right, you're in this little area here. Not really much. I mean, I could get you to back plots and things like that, calling council support, but right now, you're still young. So I'll just hold on to that favour for the time being, I think. But yeah, not much we can do there. Uh, yeah, lost huge amounts of uh, people here. I've basically lost almost a thousand men just to attrition alone, um, pretty much. So, wait, no, I don't want to split you guys up. Can you all go together, please? Yes, thank you. I didn't. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, oh, I finished my book, Unnatural History. Ooh. Everyone knows that I have spent years and years directing the work on my book. But today I am presented with the final product. Unnatural history, huh? I scratch my chin. Almost surprised that work has finally been finished. I felt inspired. It gives me 50 prestige. That's good. Let's look at what that does. Where is the unnatural history? Uh, while Pliny the Elder described his Naturalist Historia as a work of natural world and life, in this book Emir Buhanadin of the Abd al kays Emirate instead discusses at length the veil beyond and the death of all things living. Uh, learning plus one, temple vassal opinion goes down, sex appeal goes up. Ooh. That's strange because I'm definitely sure I was writing something on Allah. I am almost certain I was writing something religious. Hmm. Very odd. Speaking of which, I should probably be looking to see if there's any of these that I shouldn't be using because... I think they're heretical. The secret history of the Bedouin is a family uh, epic, so that's fine. 
The Book of Healing strives to inspire and enlighten the mind. As a result, you'll find a wide range of topics covered in this encyclopedia, ranging from the natural sciences to theological discussions on the topic of Allah's existence. That's fine. Modest measures, all things in moderation. Emir Abu Bakr begins his treatise on culinary householding. The typical inhabitant of Umm al Nasan is rumoured to have found the text a bit bold, but there's nothing heretical about it. And then there's mine. Um, magnum opus on alchemy. See, that seems like something I should get. Although alchemy is not heretical, is it? I mean, it was eventually seen as heretical by the Catholic Church, but that was A, much later on, and B, Catholicism. So I don't think that necessarily that's a problem. And stellar astrology. The masterpiece Magnum Opus contains many secrets of stellar astrology. It has been encrypted with an elaborate cipher allowing only the prices to decipher it. Um, again, astrology could be heretical, but I can't read it. So maybe I don't know that it is. Yeah, I can't read that it's um, heretical, so that's fine. Also, why don't I wear the chain mail? Do I? I don't know if I'm the kind of guy that would wear chain mail then. Uh, there's nothing I'm um, old oh, oh, craven so I might because I'm scared I mean I'm not gonna go into battle I mean I can wear it that makes me more safe but I'm not gonna go into battle so that's fine but yeah nothing that we need to get rid of at the moment but I have written my book so that's fine but I am now probably uninspired yeah so we need to take a look and see if there's anything so I don't want to compose a book while I'm uninspired and that's pretty much it right now nothing else for the time being um, I can shut the gates because there's illness there's consumption uh, around my realm but I don't know, I'm not smart enough to do that myself. So I think that maybe I would do that under advice from my Grand Vizier. And he hasn't secluded himself yet. So I'm going to turn that off for the time being. Once he secludes himself, he would say I suggest that you do the same. And then I can be like, okay, fair enough. I will close myself in there as well. But... um yeah, for the time being, uh, uh, no, okay, he's just shifting laws, he hasn't done anything. There is like no supply around here as well. Why am I, why am I having so much attrition? I guess it's just the winter. Yeah, it's just because we're marching in winter, I guess. But then it's Spain. I mean, how cold does it get in Spain? I mean, come on. Uh, my investigation into the rumour of a plot must have alerted someone. Armed thugs are breaking into my room. This might be the end of uh, Bahanadin. And we don't have an heir, which means that this guy will become our new player. Sheikmadi of Asir. And he is on the council as a powerful vassal. So he would be coming in in a different role. But I mean, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I might escape. So let's see. The biggest chance is that I'm going to get wounded. I did manage to survive the thugs attacking me, but the incident has left me severely wounded. I am lucky to be in live. Um, I gained the trait wounded. Okay, 
So, but it's not maimed or anything, so you can recover from wounded. That's fine. So that's just health minus one at the moment. Personal combat skills down, but I'm not going into fights anyway, so that's fine. Wounded is okay, because you can get back from it. I'm not severely wounded, and I'm not maimed, so it's fine. We're not in terrible trouble yet, so hopefully we should be fine. These guys seem to have made it through, through most of Spain without dying. I mean, I did lose probably, what, 100 guys there, didn't I? Uh, a most peculiar woman has arrived at your court in only a matter matter of months she has made a name for herself as a most accomplished warrior you have seen her defeat some of your best champions in the sparring ring Maybe she should she, she could teach your other soldiers a thing or two do i like her no not particularly lady amasha i could use a woman of your talents She'll become my marshal okay she can't do that because i don't have the power over that so yeah I, I i'm afraid you can't become my marshal i'm afraid sorry about that i i mean it's not down to me right you two merge again please uh and yeah we seem to be all right but let's pick our way around these guys because i don't want to I don't want to get hit. I just want to kind of link up with these guys. These guys are sieging, so hopefully they're not going to pay me any attention. And I'll be able to get in here and just anchor myself to these guys. So, it looks like it is. Um, okay, so that's just me and my wife spending time together. So I will ask her to spend time with me. That's fine. Uh, she was happy to oblige. Now that I have some time to spend with her, I'm confident I can convince her of how alike we are. So just trying to link up with my wife, that's fine. Um, being in my presence because I'm proud. I feel safe because of Craven. Um, I've recently undergone an attack as well. So I think that I would say I hope that you feel safe. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you guys have linked up, so you now please attach yourself to that army, and there we go. We're not, we're, we're safe and protected, well, we're safe as can be, I mean, they still outnumber us, but anyway, we have linked up with that army, I've crossed my, uh, troops pretty much halfway across the world, uh, that we know of, anyway. Actually, no, we know of more of the world, don't we, because the Aztecs are here. So we know that there is way more off in this distance, but we just don't know what about it. But I crossed an entire continent and into another anyway. Let's leave it like that. Oh, there we are. Uh, sorry, I overshot it a little bit. We are in the year 1000. Uh, yeah, 11 days in. Sorry, I uh, didn't hit pause in time. But yes, we ticked over. We are into the year 1000 AD. Wow. We have been playing for 231 years. Wow. Just a pretty memorable landmark. I thought that I'd, uh, I thought, I just thought that I'd acknowledge it for you. But there you go. Yeah. 1000 AD. Oh. Now, have I been depressed before? I can't remember if I've been depressed before. But anyway, yeah, another morning when I wake up feeling as tired as when I went to bed. I should do something about my listless mind. Perhaps I need to spend some time alone. Seclude myself in meditation. Bah, I'll get over it eventually. Shy and scared. Yeah, seclusion sounds like your kind of thing, doesn't it? So I'm going to go into seclusion. We're all going to take over the realm as my regent. Because um, I don't really have much choice in that. Um, but I'd like to think that maybe I wouldn't be telling them I'm going to sink into seclusion I just kind of sneak off and like find a quiet room somewhere and someone will be like have you seen uh Bahanadin and everyone will be like no I haven't seen him for a few days and then I'll be sitting there like hee 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 so you know the fact that he's actually the real region is kind of a bit like uh I mean I probably wouldn't have told anyone there you go see it's come to an end already I've gained a newfound respect for the hermits of old 
My time spent fasting and praying in seclusion has done me good. Allah has helped me strengthen my mind. I will resolve to do better. Gain another 100 piety. We're getting close to that 2000 mark. That's good. And uh, I can either gain temperate or diligent or neither. Let's see if I get either. I got temperate. Okay. This character believes in the virtue of temperentia. Temperentia. Moderation, a valuable trait in rulers and stewards. Okay, so I am now a temperate man. So, uh, I need to temper my zealousy. Which means that I probably want to bring you round to my way of thinking, not kill you for it. Okay, I think that makes sense. I can work with that. Ah, that war has come to an end. Uh, inconclusively, realm peace was enforced. So, my troops should be over here. 74 troops left. That's all I have. They got absolutely decimated. Right, well, I might as well disband you. Only 33 are going to get home. I really don't think that matters that much anyway. <laughs> That's made me pretty weak. Yeah, wow. Uh, my troops got absolutely decimated in that fight. Damn. Yeah, that was a uh, that was rough that war. That was rough. I think we may have found a wife, by the way. She is 40, and I'm pretty sure her liege doesn't come with much power. But where'd she go? Oh, we lost her. I absolutely Adore her. Where are you, Shaheen? There we are. 77. 77. That is huge. And I think a lot of that comes down to attractive. Yeah, she's groomed as well. Ambitious. She's also zealous. So that gives me same attraction as well. Uh, yeah. I think that we're going to um, arrange that marriage. Because, yeah, I absolutely adore this woman. So, there you go. I found myself another wife. Um, doesn't come with a lot of power, but it doesn't matter. I, the, uh, the, that is not what we're looking to get married for now, because I'm looking for myself. So, the attraction and the like is more important now. I've told, I've told my um, Grand Vizier that you know what? You're awful. You're terrible at making these decisions. So now I'm going to go and do it myself. And we found someone that we absolutely love. Shamim Bint Uwais. Uh, so she is going to be my new wife. Hmm. This is a bit of a weird one. Uh, I am a temperate person. But apparently someone laughed at me. I will find the culprit and make him or her choke on their laughter. I mean, I am proud... But I'm also temperate, so I don't think I'd be that taken aback by someone laughing at me, right? Well, apparently we're going to find out who it is. When I found out who it was who laughed at me, I tried to swallow my pride, but I choked on it and it managed to escape. Now Sheik Samir won't talk to me. Uh, oh, yeah, he's my spy master. You really don't want to pee him off. But apparently it only went down to 45, so that's not too bad. Okay, uh, and there's my wife. My wife has just come here. Uh, we'll for oh, you don't want to form an alliance. Oh, I need to give you money as well, don't I? Yeah, I bet you'll form an alliance now, won't you? Yeah, of course you will. Uh, okay, so my wife is here. That's good. Um, there she is, my new wife, who I absolutely love. I'm going to send you a little bit of a welcome gift, make you love me a little bit more. Um, there is a chance that you could have a kid. There is a strong chance of that, but not sure. It's not for certain. It's, uh, it's a little bit funny in this game with regards to age. Uh, Ramadan, the prophet, may Allah honor him and grant him peace, teaches the importance of charity and good deeds, especially during the holy month of Ramadan. There are many poor in Hajar who could be helped if but parted with some of your treasury. Uh, I am a charitable person. So, of course, I will donate 
It's only 66 gold. I'm pretty sure I can afford that. And yep, we now have an alliance. Uh, the end of Ramadan approaches. Um, I am temperate. So... There should be a feast. Okay, no. Because it says that, no, I have a headache. Counts to the festivities. No. But it, if, if there was an option to be like, no, I'm tempered, so we'll have a quiet family reflection of the holy month that we've just taken, then maybe I would have, but no. Okay, so we need to, we need to do the feast. That is fine. <laughs> we spent all of that time fighting that war over here for this guy, and he's just died. How many men did we lose fighting his silly war that ended in a white piece anyway, and then he just went and died? And he, yeah, he wiped himself off the census. <sighs> that was a waste of manpower, wasn't it? Jesus. Oh, I just realised it was my son-in-law. Or, no, my stepson. Yeah, my stepson. It would have been my stepson. That's that's why we were allied to him. Okay. Huh. Well, you're kind of useless now. But, you know, I, I like you enough to keep you around. So, But I do think that I would replace you as my first wife. I still don't... I still haven't figured out how to do that. But I definitely think that you would be my first wife. Because, you know, freaking love you. Uh, you, I don't like that much. And you, I'm alright with, I guess. But, yeah, don't know how to do that, so we can't. Looks like we're about to go into another stupid war. My brother-in-law is going to war. So, all of these alliances that uh, my council made me get in place have done nothing but basically drain our manpower. I haven't done anything to help us, but, you know, we've certainly been losing men because of it. Well, we need to accept this. So now we're at war for this area. Who are we fighting? We're fighting this guy who has a lot of troops. But then I'm pretty sure you have a lot of troops as well, don't you? Ooh, not as much as him. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything to bring to the table now. Um, where's my military? Oh, I have 1,200 again. Okay, well, I can raise up my guys. Um, oh, I didn't set a rally point. Uh, we want to hook up with you there. So, everyone come to Katif. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there. We want to try and hook up with this big army here. Um, but yeah, I can't offer you much, I'm afraid, my man. Uh, I don't know if you're going to come here to come and hit me before I get there. Hopefully not. But yes, these alliances are proving a little bit more annoying than useful for us. Right, I have my troops together. But I don't know where his big army's gone. I've kind of lost it somewhere. I don't know where it went. Where is, um... Where are you based, anyway? Right, so you're down here. So you're trying to push into here, basically. So, but they've not gone in this direction. So yeah, I don't know where all of his troops have gone. So I don't want to just go wandering out by myself because my men are going to get destroyed. So I'm going to wait until I see if I can find his guys again. Are they here? No. What's your name again? Shaharmus. Wait. Is this the same war? Yeah, it is. Right, okay. Yeah, Shah Harmus. Yeah, okay, so that is you, yeah. Got confused then. Because um, 
I think the yeah the caliph is in this war as well so I could link up with the caliph's troops as well if I really wanted to but I can't see any um, yeah so you're Shahramuz I need to see where your army is there, but I can't see any so alright okay well I'm just going to hang around and wait and see if I can catch them on my radar again or if I see a big army of the caliphs then I'll link myself to that but I'm not going wandering out in the world by myself because I'm tiny and my men are going to get destroyed if I do that my wife has asked to become my grand vizier I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to do that now I love you and I would definitely want to do that but I don't think I'm allowed It's not how dare you suggest something so inappropriate. I'm just pretty sure whilst this guy's around, he still knows the way it was done by his dad, who is the one that won the war to empower the council. So I don't think I'm allowed to do it. Uh, I can't do it, I'm afraid, but that's going to yeah, that's gonna tank your opinion. That's a shame, but I'm not allowed. It's just something I'm not allowed to do. Uh, oh, I've got cramps. Okay. I've had really bad health issues, haven't I? I'm developing the great pox. Oh, dear. Uh, Shikalim spent many hours studying the stars before informing you that in order for your strength to return, you had to fast for the better part of half of a fortnight. That's a long time not to eat. And yeah, it didn't do anything. So they didn't give me any treatment at all. Ah, there's a big army of the Abbasids here. I should be able to link up with them. Because you're, you're definitely at war. You're in this war. Caliph Issa. Yeah, you are in this war. Um, so I could link myself to that army. Because I haven't seen the other guy's army. They've just disappeared. There was like 4,000 odd here. And they just, poof, just vanished. So, I think I'm going to link up with you, but I'm going to wait for you to pass me, because if I try and go and catch you, you're going to bugger off in another direction, and I'm going to miss you, aren't I? So, I'm just going to wait and see what they're doing. Oh, okay, my cramps have gone, at least, and I'm just, you know, whatever, waving them off. Uh, yeah, I haven't had severe cramps for some time now. Whatever caused them must have been dealt with. Must have gone. Yeah, don't bother looking into it anymore. Just randomly getting really severe cramps. I thought I was coming down with great pox. Apparently not. My uh, my doctor's not a very good doctor, apparently, because I definitely didn't come down with pox, so never mind. Right, you're moving. Where are you moving to? We'll arrive in Al Hassa. Okay, so see if I can get in there and link with you guys, because... Uh, yeah, I'll just follow you around. You're a big enough army. You should be able to keep me safe. Um, okay, so you have inherited, but you're a child. So you can't be on my council. So, yeah, that's fine at the moment. Uh, I don't know... It's going to be your decision, isn't it? Who goes on to the council. So I'm guessing we're going to be looking for someone of high standing first because it needs to be someone big. But there isn't anyone who could do that yet. So we go no, no your kids aren't in my my court either which is a shame because we could do your kids but they're not here so we can't do that okay so let's look for traits complementary traits he's zealous he's zealous it's temperate and arbitrary as well but
could be good. You definitely not because you have sympathy for other religions. So that doesn't work. Neither do you. You are gluttonous, gluttonous. So we probably don't want you. You're humble. You're very angry and lustful apparently. So you're a bit of a sleep around. Envious. We wouldn't know that. Erudite. You're not erudite though, so no, not you. Gregarious, trusting, humble, envious, depressed. We wouldn't necessarily know that you're depressed. And you are humble. I think it's going to be the top guy, isn't it? Because he's zealous anyway. So yeah, we're just going to go for you. You're going to be my new spy master. You're not great at it, but right, let's see. You're arbitrary, temperate, and zealous. Arbitrary suggests you don't really care. Uh, zealous and... Yeah, I don't really think you're gonna... You're not really out there to do stuff for yourself, are you? Because you're arbitrary. Study technology, maybe. He's not going to sabotage anything because he's not cool or anything. Build spy network. I mean, maybe, but Arbor arbitrary and temperate. But maybe you would want to. Maybe build some power where you are, maybe? I think you're probably going to do what he wants you to do, aren't you? You're not... I'm pretty sure you used to be erudite at one point, right? I'm sure that you were erudite. But it seems like you're not anymore. So you probably don't care about people studying now. I think... It's either Scheme or Spy Network. I think maybe Spy Network, because then I can headcanon it that he's looking for people who aren't of his, you know, heretics, because he's zealous... And he's zealous as well, although he's kind, but then he'd probably want to know a little bit more about what's happening in the world and everything anyway. Um, and that means we probably need to change you, right? Because you're not... Yeah, the other guy's not erudite anymore. So that probably means he doesn't care about you studying. You're diligent. Maybe you'd want to administer the realm? Or collect taxes? No one's greedy. You're decadent though. So yeah, maybe... Diligent or cost? Oh, build cost, okay. Uh, oversee construction. Brilliant. We're not doing any construction right now, but you can oversee it anyway. We're not doing any, so... But you might meet a master builder. So, yeah. Because you are diligent on costs. Uh, build costs down. So that's something to do with buildings. Okay, brilliant. That's fine. Um, right, you are also here. Am I going to catch you? Yeah, you're not moving. So I should be able to catch you. There we go. And I can just link myself to you and you follow that army around. And now we're a little bit more protected and safer. But they've got a lot more troops than we have. So, we're, you know, safe as safe can be, I guess. Oh, bird and book again. Bird and book. A new bird has arrived in the muse and a new book on the art of writing poetry is in the library. Now, I wrote a book 
and I'm a scholarly theologian, but I am uninspired. But I'm also scared and shy. So maybe I wouldn't want to go outside. Especially with a raptor as well. You know, having that flying at my face, I might be a bit, oh god, ah! You know, like trying to hide behind a bush or a tree or something. Oh, it's flapping in my face, get away, get away, get away! Kind of thing. So, I think I'm going to go for the book on poetry. But I have a feeling he's probably going to be like, oh, maybe I should have taken that bird out. Oh, the poetry book is really inspiring. Okay, I can feel creativity bursting through my body. Okay. So, screw that uninspired because I am going to have that removed uh, and I'm going to get aspiring poet giving me diplomacy plus one. There we go. So, uninspired is gone, which means that we might want to write another book. I had an urge today to compose a book when I suggested to my council they look a mixture of confused and amused. Get me the scribes, I say. Ignoring their bewilderment, of course, my lord, and what shall his greatest treaties be about? I shall chronicle my family history, of course. Now, I think I'd probably write a poetry book right now, right? I think that's probably more what I would do. But anyway, whatever. We are inspired again. We are going to write a book again. Think I'm going to become a full-blown poet? My modest attempts to write poetry was never meant to be published in any way. But wherever I go... Bards and minstrels are reciting or singing my poems. Fame and fortune awaits. I gain the trait poet. My poetry was never meant for others. I gain prestige. Don't really care about prestige. I am temperate. And I am shy. But I'm also proud. And an aspiring poet, right? Well, I'm not an aspiring poet anymore. Right, okay, so... Craven... Shy... And Temperate would suggest that I wouldn't go for it. Proud... Would suggest that I would. So I think there's more that outweighs it than there is for it. So I don't think I am... If I had Aspiring Poet still then I probably would take it, but I don't. I've lost the Aspiring Poet, so I'm going to go for that instead. I'm going to be a humble man, which, uh, yeah, seems a little shame. I would have been better to get the trait, but there we are. Ooh, my heir has been slandering me, apparently. Or is it Sheikha? No, it's, it's, oh, it's my Grand Vizier. Sheikh Madi of Asir, my heir, has provided me with proof that Sheikh Alim of Mecca has been viciously slandering me. How should I use this information? Expose and denounce him publicly, giving me a reason to arrest him. Threaten Alim with exposure unless he stays out of all factions. Keep this information to myself. Right, I don't like you... I like him more. So how much proof is proof? I guess I need to treat it as, no, this is definitely true. Because... Otherwise, there should be a reason to cast doubt into it, right? Um, scared? Shy, temperate, would suggest I'd keep it fairly quiet. Proud, would suggest that I'd let it out. So there's more to suggest that I would do one of these two. How I would go about it. I also think that, by the way, we need to remember this, because I think that this guy, my heir, if he doesn't 
if we don't become him playing, or even if we do, we need to we need to bear in mind that he is pushing for power. He is really trying to, but he's arbitrary. Oh, okay, and he's content. Okay, so he's not pushing for power, but it seems like he was because he seemed like he was doing a lot. Like he's brought this. He did something else as well that an event I just bypassed. But it looked like it was him trying to seize power. But he's arbitrary, so I guess that he's. But he's also paranoid. So maybe I don't know. But anyway, we don't need to be focusing on him right now. Um, I think it's definitely one of these two. I like him more than I like him. So I think that I would keep it to myself for the time being because I don't need to I mean he loves me he's not going to join a faction against me anyway but yeah I don't think I need to although it was his daughter it was his daughter that embarrassed me greatly so maybe I should let him know that I have it because Wait a minute, your daughter is the one that screwed me over and embarrassed me in front of the whole realm and now you're slandering me. You're slandering me. How dare you? Yeah, I think that actually I would, I, I'm going to confront him about it. Uh, Shikalim just laughed at the evidence, flat out refused to stop meddling in political factionalism. Oh, okay. So my opinion of him has dropped, and I have a righteous imprisonment against him now. Oh, and the thing is, is I only have twenty-eight percent chance of beating him and capturing him, and he has way more troops than I do right now. Like I can't fight him it's only 28% see that's not going to happen he's going to rise up in rebellion And I can't, I don't have the strength to fight him. Plus, I'm a coward. So I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna swallow my pride on this one a little bit, I think. Because I'm a coward anyway, and I know I can't stand up to him. He is very powerful. I mean, I don't get why he's more powerful than me. He should not be more powerful than me. I should be way more powerful than him but because I've been stripped of all of my power like my forces were already raised as well aren't they they're, they're over here we're, are we about to hit them yeah see my, so they're, they're sieging down my realm this is a revolt by the way that uh, just rose up but anyway yeah I don't think I can do anything about him I think I just need to bide my time wait for him to pass on and then we go again his son isn't doing too great um, I mean he has consumption so his son might not be long for this world in which case it will be this son who is ambitious Yeah, I think we just need to bide our time with this guy. I don't think we can arrest him. I don't think we have the the power to stand up to him, unfortunately. Oh, the Caliph has actually done something. A renewed jihad. The House of Islam is under grave threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels in its very heartlands. Yeah, you're telling me. We've been gutted. Uh, in response, His Magnificence Caliph Isa has declared that an era of renewed jihad is upon the world. The core regions of the Dar al-Islam 
must be retaken at all costs. All righteous Muslim men should prepare to join the ranks of the Muhaddin for the upcoming struggles. He signals a renewed era of in Islamic expansion. Allah Akbar. So that's our version of Crusade. So Muslim Crusader Kings is here. We are ready to go to Jihad. It's about time that you bloody did something. We have been destroyed. We have been gutted. We are being crippled and crushed from every single side. It's about time that you actually did something worthy of your name, Caliph. Although we are very, very weak. We are very, very poor. And it is very unlikely that we're going to be able to do much. But it does give him the Religious War CV. So hopefully he might be able to do something with that. Not sure who we're actually going to be able to declare that on. Everyone around us is pretty strong. We're probably one of the weakest players in the region right now. So not too sure how that's going to work out. But yes, Jihad is upon us. Uh, Islamic Crusader Kings are upon us. And um, we are going to hopefully claw back some of this for ourselves. But we'll have to see about that next time, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you for joining me today. I certainly hope that you do join me for that next time. But until then, I bid you all adieu, a good day, and a massive GD to you all. So if you like this video, please check out our other content. Click on the video below. Please check out this playlist. This is a Rich Tea Entertainment production.